In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a Twitter header, how to design a Twitter header on Pixel app. It is very, very, very simple. Firstly, you need to get the dimension, you know, of the Twitter header, the, the Twitter header size. You need to get the dimension, and that's very easy because Pixel app has a custom size for it. So if you click on the three dots at the top right of your screen, and then you click on image size, let's do this again image size click on custom then at the bottom you will see twitter header size so once you click on this and then you click ok boom this is the perfect size for your twitter header so right now you can actually start designing anything you want to design and when you're done you're going to save it and you can upload it to your um to your twitter header space anyway i want to actually design a twitter header for my account a new one you know so i decided to make a tutorial out of it so just follow me closely so you can actually figure out how to do this by yourself so i'm going to start right now by making my background black because that is what i want to do that is the design i want to make you know it all depends on what you are doing um every design has its um, own um what do i call it every design has its roadmap you know the color the font size the font type the elements you're using so i'm trying to create something really really simple that matches my account so i want to choose a black color and to do that is simple just click on the three dots um not the three dots sorry just click on this icon at the bottom of your screen and then you click on color and then you click on this and you just choose your black color right here it is very very easy to choose a black color because it's one of the default colors but if you want to choose a color that is completely different you know maybe you can't find a default you can't find the color among all these default colors all you need to do is click on the plus sign right here click on the plus sign and then you can actually just use this because this is the full color chart so you can actually just select your color that you want you get me you see any color basically you can just select it orange any color purple any color but i need black so i'm choosing sticking with my black and the next thing i'm going to do right now is insert my text so i will click on this click on text then I want to type in something peak design this is what I want to type in I would increase the size then I'm going to scroll to where I have fonts I'll choose font and then I'll click on my font I'll scroll down so I have um, this font. I'll use this. Um, concerning how to install custom fonts, there is a link in the video description. You can check that. And um, yeah, it's very easy. So now that I have this, I'm going to change. I'm going to change the um, color. This is pure white, but I want to make something like gray. So I'll click on this, click on gradient, click on plus sign, and then I'll just make gradient of gray and white. Exactly. This is what I want to do. Then I'll click on the plus sign. Uh, not the plus sign. So I'll click on this icon, click on shapes to add a square. So this is the square I want to add, but I'm going to increase the radius so that the edges can be curved that is the effect i want to create let's do this again click on shape increase the radius to like 12 then resize this as you can see so let's make the radius uh, let's see five five is cool and then i'm gonna choose the same color that I used initially boom so 
then I can decide to add in a shadow if I want. I think I would have to add that. But no, I don't think there is any need for that. Then I'm going to bring this to the front, the text. And I'll make it black. But this time, I think I'll make it still gray. Yeah. I'm going to use this. I'm going to add some white shadow to it or my, maybe there is no need for that maybe let's see if I need to hmm Anyway, I'm going to use this. Then change this to this. Boom. That's what I want to create. So basically, I'm done designing my um, Twitter header. This is it. Very simple nothing too serious this is just what i want and then i'm just gonna i can decide to add shadow to this exactly and then i'm just gonna save it save and then let's actually um, go upload this to my Twitter account. I want to upload it right now. So this is my Twitter account. So you can see this is the previous, uh, the previous um, um, design, the the previous header we had. So I'm just gonna click on edit, and then I would insert the new one. Click apply and boom, I have the new header inserted, peak design. So that's it. That's how you can create your own Twitter header and upload it to your Twitter account.